you too can paint this. And if you follow this channel, you can work your way up to painting this or even this. And over time, you may graduate to painting this. Hi, my name is Fassel and welcome to my channel. For more videos on how to do oil painting, make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. If you have not seen my earlier video from this playlist, I will recommend that you do to get the scope of what you will be seeing on this channel and particularly this playlist that I'm compiling. I'm deviating slightly from what I mentioned in my earlier video. I'm doing this painting of the tomato before the video on gathering the supplies. And the reason is that you don't have to wait after you have supplies and this also gives you time to absorb what you will see in this video. I have divided this demo into two videos. The first part will be discussing the still life and painting the still life, which is this video. And the second video, which is the second part, will be how to mix the paint to get the colors for this painting. Mind you, I plan to have a more elaborate paint mixing video where we will discuss in depth on creating and mixing any color we are given. So this is how I set up the still life. There's a single light source pointing to a tomato in a shadow box. Here's a photo image of this tomato. You can download this picture for your reference from the link down below so that you don't have to worry about setting up a still life box for now, at least in the early stages. We'll get to setting up a still life box later. Let's talk about makeup of color. There are three components to any color, hue, value, and intensity. Hue is the pigment like red, yellow, blue, purple. Value is how dark or light a color is. Intensity is the brightness or dullness of a color or saturation of a color. Out of the three components, value is what makes a painting look believable. So you have to filter out the hue and to some degree the intensity and look at the color in terms of value. So you have to do this in your mind. Let's take the photo of the tomato and posterize it in Photoshop. This is what it looks like in color. And this is what it looks like in black and white. So essentially we want to paint the dark value of red, middle value of red, and light value of red. This is what makes the object appear roundish or 3D. Once we have these shapes down, we can break this down further into more values. We don't have to match the values exactly, so remember that. As long as we get close and keep the separation between the three regions, we will be good. So don't worry about matching the exact value or even the intensity. We want to match the relative value. We will worry about matching the exact values in later videos. When I further subdivide the posterized tomato, you can see a higher chroma region, as you can see in this posterized Photoshop picture. So as you go from very light to very dark region, the very light region will be washed out and chroma will be of lower intensity and the dark region will be dark with lower intensity. Therefore, the highest chroma will be between the dark and the light region and typically somewhere in the middle region. What I'm calling the middle region is usually lumped together by artists with the dark region and it is typically referred to as the transition between light and dark, and that is a region of high chroma. The same will apply to the stem as well. Use these pics or pictures as a guide for now, and it is in the download in the link below. Ignore the highlights and reflections on the tomato for now. They will be added later. So just project the dark value, middle value, and the light value as one continuous value going all the way around. There will be more details on the topic of values and color intensity or chroma in later videos. You can use Photoshop to break down the colors into regions and to analyze your color notes. However, since you are learning, it will be used as a training wheel 
and eventually you will not need to use it so this is the basic color palette we will be using mostly in this channel clockwise we have titanium white cadmium yellow light cadmium red medium and ultramarine blue and these are the helper colors portland gray deep burnt sienna and ivory black here's the color i mixed for the painting of the tomato i will be explaining this in the second video on how i mix these colors for the painting however here's a brief overview i printed a photo of the tomato and put it behind a glass i pulled this glass out of a picture frame do put some masking tape around the glass so that you don't cut yourself while handling the glass i mixed the colors and then tested the color by placing it on the glass and repeated this till i got the color i was looking for remember i'm trying to get close and not exact my goal is to show you that relative value is more important meaning comparative value differences is more important and getting the color intensity close is good enough if however you can you should for now here's the recipe for the color mixes which will make more sense after the second video and subsequent videos this list is also provided down below the dark value of the tomato is achieved by mixing burnt sienna with hints of cadmium red light slowly increasing the amount of the cadmium red light till till you get the desired color the middle value of the tomato is achieved by mixing burnt sienna with larger amounts of cadmium red and light value of the tomato is achieved by mixing cadmium red titanium white and cadmium yellow eyeball the stems dark middle and light values as long as you have value separation and the other minor point which is high chroma in the transition region you will be good the dark value of the stem and leaf is achieved by mixing ultramarine blue and burnt sienna with a hint of yellow the middle value of the stem is achieved by mixing ultramarine blue and cadmium yellow keep adding yellow till you get what you see in the photo this is also the high chroma color i transition between dark and light and the light value is achieved by mixing the middle value color that we mixed earlier and titanium white remember if you are having a hard time right now wait for the second video that will show you how to mix that approximately right color using the tomatoes photograph behind the glass i i bought the color for the background which is the base the vertical back and the shadow i do not care to match exactly i just made sure that i have some separation the base is essentially titanium white that i grayed with the with portland gray for vertical back i used titanium white and more portland gray than before and the shadow is portland gray with titanium white and a hint of blue i added that because shadows are typically cooler and this is the freedom we have as artists so i started with the base color and did a sketch of the tomato's outline nothing too detailed just a very rough circle with straight lines do not make a perfect circle also note that it has a little tilt to one side do observe that paint the background first a color's true appearance comes forth in its surrounding so it makes sense lay in the surrounding color first lay the dark value first lay the middle value and then lay the light value lay in the high intensity of the tomato that occurs at the border of the light value and the middle value region the transition region lay in the slight variation in the light value region between reddish orange and yellowish orange the stem was treated the same way i added the dark value the middle value and the light value lay the reflection of the base the color is achieved from the dark value of the tomato by just adding white to it and then putting it down add the highlight soften the edges between the uh, between value edges using soft brush painting is rarely a linear process you discover and fix things as you go along you come back to fix things 
and make changes, alterations, etc. If you found this video helpful and want to see more videos like this, do click that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get a reminder of new videos and do click that like button. It'll help my channel grow. Thank you for watching.